A traumatic brain injury left one young woman unable to breathe on her own with very little function as she was entering high school. Now, 10 years later, she's a graduate of one of Alabama's top universities. I sat down with Ashton Ayers to hear her story as she hopes to now inspire you to accomplish anything. I went into respiratory arrest. My left lung collapsed and my right ear started bleeding. And they, know, they knew from there that I had a brain bleed. Ashton Ayers was involved in a tragic accident when she was just 14. We were riding around the neighborhood just being kids, you know, doing what kids normally do. And I fell off the golf cart and hit the pavement head first. That marked the beginning of a 10-year journey that led her to where she is today, a UAB nursing school graduate. If somebody thinks that they can't do something, I'm here to tell you that you can. Errors, a high school cheer hopeful. My dream of being a cheerleader was very short-lived. Had her whole life flipped when she had to relearn everything after her brain injury. I had to relearn how to walk, talk, read, write, feed myself, even breathe on my own again. Um, I had to relearn how to do everything that an infant learns how to do. But that didn't stop her from achieving her goal of graduating on time with her class. I was going to school with the same people that I went to kindergarten with. That was enough for me. That was enough for me to really set my goals for the future. Her next goal, college. After a few years at Jefferson State, she got into UAB's nursing program. Ashton, um, the very first day of class, I noticed her. Um, she's very vibrant, full of life. She always sits right in the front of class. She asks a lot of questions. Full of life is right. Ashton says she chose nursing so she can give back in the way her nurses gave to her. My family talked about all of my nurses and how they just cared for not only me but my family while I was in the hospital. One of my favorite stories is when I came out of my first surgery I had a scar, or I have a scar that goes from one ear to the other. I call it my tiara or my headband. Mm -hmm. And um, they, you know, it's kind of gnarly. It, I mean, it was still bloody and fresh, but they braided my hair. Now she hopes her story can inspire others to pursue their goals and overcome obstacles. From having a head injury when she was very young, and having to recover, taking a year to get back into high school, and then coming to one of the top nursing schools in the country and finishing, it's true, it's really inspirational. The villains, the bad guys, all of that stuff's already happened. The bad part already happened in my story, but I'm living in the happily ever after now. And we're happy to say Ayers accepted a position of the mother baby unit at UAB Hospital and next on her list of goals, passing the national nursing exam before she starts that new job.